what we're about to show you is going to change, in my opinion, the whole direction of this entire investigation. And for the record, I will say this. It was not a natural disaster. This emergency proclamation is a fall. Funny how all the common people were taken out in one fell swoop of a fire. Fire department, police department on Maui did nothing to get those people out. Why do you think they didn't turn the sirens on? I don't know. Do you regret not sounding the sirens? I, I do not. And the reason why... And So many people said they could have been saved if they had time to escape. Had a siren gone off, they would have known that there was a crisis emerging. And as we know, so many bodies were found in the ground. As do you want, the him, do you want him to give you the answer? Or I do, do you want to well, then let him, finish the, let him finish his I'm answer. sorry, there's a lot of people... Well, you're talking and you're not letting him talk. If you want to talk, come up here. I'm ready for the answer. Then wait. There's a lot going on here that is way beyond anything that anybody wants to believe. Yeah. But there was no warning. Fires went from 4 o'clock until 7 o'clock at night going. No military came. The whole community is mourning the deaths of over 1,500 people. They killed innocent men, women, and children. The sad thing that I have right now in my hand is this court document. In fact, they blocked roads. And I can say that with a fact because the people in Lahaina testified to that. And I walked all the way from Safeway to the chart house. Not one car had moved. And I was wondering what was stopping the traffic. Well, it was a policeman. And I got to the end and I looked up north. There were no obstructions. There was no reason to keep those cars there. Are you serious? I'm serious as a heart attack. And I, I said, what are you doing? He goes, well, I'm under orders to keep them here. And I said, the fire is, is right around Safeway. It's going to hit Front Street. You know, these people got to get out of here. And he said, I'm, I'm following orders. No way. And I keep walking down the highway, and I look behind. No cars are coming out. I walked all the way to Waikuli Beach. Still no cars coming out. And I started hearing boom, boom, boom. Then I heard people screaming and stuff. You're saying they were blockaded in by the police at the end of Front Street? Yeah. Northbound lanes then shut down. This video shows no cars on the blocked off highway still, 5.24 p.m., two and a half hours later, when Debbie Schultz Peterson shot this video. Miller's video documented the lane closure during that time. He says police directed traffic down Keave Street into the cannery. They neither went out the backside on the front street. I could see that everyone was blocked, so I went out and I came this way and I got under the power line. But there's more. Those trying to exit the middle of town from the Hainaluna are also obstructed heading southbound. Before 3.30 p.m., Amanda Cassidy is among the early evacuees. Anything could happen at any second, and I know that every second counts in those moments. She leaves Lahaina Luna, Makai of the bypass, but in this photo, she says when she reaches Lahaina Luna Road and the highway, it's blocked off by an officer, not just to the north, but south as well. It's very complex, but I gotta tell you, I met with them. I'm also the coroner, for those that don't know that. I'm also the coroner, for those that don't know that. You have the bodies. You know how many of them are children. How many children are dead? Step back, please. How many children are dead, Mayor? When you have them unleashing actual lasers on Americans and destroying their homes and murdering children, I mean, that, that's, that's what happened here. They murdered children stuck in their homes. Dad, is there talk among the locals of what could have been done to prevent this tragedy? Huh. Yeah, a lot of talk. Um, they could have given us warning. Um, they sent all the kids home from school because of the wind advisory. And we found out yesterday that we lost a whole neighborhood of children. Um, yes, horrific. The Lahaina Luna housing area. All the kids were home. Uh, one of our co-workers uh, messaged us yesterday saying every one of his friends in the neighborhood is dead. When they're willing to do that, and all of the other aforementioned, the things that, that you were talking about that they can unleash, but they also cater to those that are waking up by giving them some sort of a reprieve that they are willing to murder innocent children who are trapped inside of their homes with no schools open with no alarms or signals sounding at all 
Keep in mind, ironically, this is the most advanced signal alarm system that we have in the entire country. This is a freaking island state. They have now shown you that they will physically go to war with you and kill you for your property and to destroy the nuclear family and to destroy freedom in this country and to overtake this country to usher in a one world governance so that you are 100% dependent on the agenda of those at BlackRock and Klaus Schwab. This was a military style attack. Our government has openly declared war on its people, period. Israel is reportedly rolling out a new defense system. It's the stuff of sci-fi movies. Israel calls it its defensive trump card. It's the iron beam anti-missile laser system. Our next report tells you what's the iron beam and how it can be a game changer. Look at this video from last year. That's US President Joe Biden getting ready for a photo shoot. It's at the Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv. What's all the fuss for? Look at what's above his head. The giant camera lens-like thing. That's the reason for all this excitement. Because it's Israel's ace in the hole. The Iron Beam Laser Anti-Missile System. The Iron Beam is a technological marvel. The fruit of years of research in high-intensity lasers. It was first unveiled at a Singapore air show in 2014. And after seven years, it seems to be ready for battlefield action. Israel has said it can focus the beam to the diameter of a coin within that distance. The iron beam fires lasers that can reach energy levels of about 100 kilowatts. For context, that's about 24 grams of TNT exploding every second. Here's a video released by Israel's Defense Forces last year, showing a successful test of the iron beam. How it works is simple. Israel isn't going to replace all its systems with the iron beam. But the iron beam and other lasers will get stronger over time. Signaling the beginning of the age of laser warfare. As Oprah was saying, it is a clean, direct... That's our people. And if this is just a money issue for you guys, get out of your seat. This is devastation. And I could go on and on with the people who are showing themselves on social media. The celebrities. Right now, we are in a state of emergency. What do I do? What do I do? This is what you do. The People's Fund of Maui. This was planned years ago. It's now happening. Oprah Winfrey has been buying up land in Maui like crazy. A 520-acre plot for $3.89 million this year. 330 acres for $2.47 million. Two 10-acre swaths of land for $100,000 each last year. In the last few years, she has gone from about 100 acres of land in Maui to over 1,000 acres. Oprah could come in. Who is she? Who is she? We didn't need her in there, in Bowen High. Get her out. I've been in this business for 30 years. I'm stunned, but I'm not surprised. The dots are connecting. And coincidence seems to be the story here, right? But the true story, the media knows it is not allowed to tell. But I can. Is it a coincidence that the Maui police chief is the same man who was in charge in Las Vegas during that massacre that killed 58 people? Is it a coincidence that the Maui property, owned by million and billionaires, it wasn't touched by the flames while homes of the locals all burned? Was it a coincidence that the flames traveled across hundreds of feet of pavement and crossed a four-lane highway with emergency shoulders to jump into the ocean and then burn all the boats? Was it a coincidence that the largest system of outdoor emergency sirens in the world never made a sound as the fire devoured Lahaina? Was it a coincidence that at the same time, very same time, all the water was turned off? Was it a coincidence that police were ordered to block off streets and to funnel all the cars trying to escape onto one road where that firestorm incinerated entire families? How about the coincidence that the governor of Hawaii, Josh Green, 
just weeks before that inferno, signed a pledge to the UN's 2030 Agenda of Sustainable Development, pledging to eliminate emissions. Weird. And think about this coincidence. That governor also signed an emergency proclamation on July 17th, three weeks before the fire, about housing of all things, and suspended seven state statutes protecting historic preservation laws, removing all of the red tape when it comes to building infrastructure. Coincidentally, that emergency proclamation also suspends previous building laws and gives the governor some magic wand power to appoint a housing czar to rule on the island's redevelopment. Is it a coincidence that the government put up a black fence around Lahaina or that the FAA grounded all drones from flying over the affected areas? Is it a coincidence that since at least 2011, there have been plans to make Maui the first smart city run by 100% renewable energy? And that coincidentally, two of the three largest landowners on Maui are BlackRock and the U.S. government, and that both are part of the U.N.'s agenda? It must be a coincidence then that the locals whose homes did not burn are now being evicted from their property. And of course, a total coincidence that all the fact checkers who are checking these facts, who say everything I just told you is just a coincidence, are also owned and run by BlackRock. Thank goodness none of these coincidences is connected. Oprah Winfrey has a luxury mansion in Maui. It's completely fine. Jeff Bezos has a luxury mansion in Maui. It's completely fine. Bill Gates has a luxury mansion in Maui. It's completely fine. How did the fire know to avoid the most expensive mansions? Wake up. Let me tell you what got me censored, because I'm not scared to say it. I'll say it right to anybody's face. These fires in Hawaii were not natural. They did it with lasers mounted onto the nose of aircraft. They also don't burn blue objects, so a lot of the objects there that were blue didn't get melted. Any logical person can look at this and go, hey, Oh, my Lord, look at the motor. How did this grass fire cause this car to completely melt? Look at this motor. Look at this motor. The manifold. Where's the manifold? Right here. I know, where is it? It's dust. From the ashes there will grow a garden of hearts. Everything but not our faith in God Won't you stand with the liner Oh, Hannah Till the skies are blue sell to anybody outside we will get you back in your house no matter what we have to do we will get the funding to make sure that we can rebuild everybody's homes our community leaders should be at the forefront in decision making for our place that is a windshield right there that is completely melted and cast aluminum here that's pulverized just dust how is that possible for a grass fire that did not come from this direction because you can see there's nothing that's been burned over here. What could cause that type of destruction when you have a grass fire on this side that obviously didn't connect, but even if it was a grass fire. And it's and still only half burned, I mean. Yeah, you can see there's even some grass over here that's still standing, it's not even been burned. It seems like it's applauded in society that we give eight billion dollars to Israel. I'm sure we give them that <laughs> weekly, but to announce, hey, we're going to give them eight billion dollars. Maui is still 
in ashes. My, where's the money from a state in our own country with the $8 billion that yeah. they're sending to their best friends in Israel? They could have built everyone a new house in Maui and then gave them a year's salary and no one's doing shit. Talk about the Hawaii response, Mr. President.